Hey, I'm Dr. Caldwell Miller, and this is Dr. Miller's Guide to Clinical Neurology, and we're going to talk about problems that we see in the clinical office every day and how we treat them and diagnose them. Today, we're going to talk about blepharospasm, which is an involuntary contraction of the eye. People's eye, eye will just twitch like this. We do not know the cause of this, but it just does not stop. In the old days, we tried anticonvulsants. You know, we used you know, Tegretol, Trileptal, then later on, Lamictal. None of it worked. Nothing worked until Botox came out. Now, when you say Botox, a lot of people shiver because they think of cosmetic Botox, which I don't think there's anything wrong with cosmetic Botox used properly. But we used Botox long time before cosmetic Botox for movement disorders, and one of which was blepharospasm. And it's just been a lifesaver. What you do, you take a small amount of Botox, you know, 50 to 100 units, you inject a little here, you inject here, 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 and here. You do not inject in the midline. We made that mistake at the very beginning, and it will paralyze this orbicularis oculi muscle. And as long as the Botox is still working, you'll have a closed eyelid. Bad deal. So just make sure when you get this done that the doctor doesn't inject in the midline. It works great. It'll last three to seven months. Most patients that have blepharospasm get a Botox injection every 10 to 12 weeks. So that's blepharospasm. Now that's the end of this video. If you're watching it for the first time, stay on for a minute. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing. If you're watching it you know, for the second time, you can just cut me off right here. But remember to su subscribe to my channel so it'll grow. Well, what I'm going to do over the next year and, and in the future is I'm going to talk about everything I've ever treated in the clinic, every disorder, and we will post videos on all the clinical diseases that you treat in a neurological clinic. There's some really tough ones and there's some really easy ones, um, but we're going to give you some information. So if you have a friend that has a clinical disorder, you look up everything you really need to know in a quick and dirty way is going to be on these videos. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to put what I know in these videos um, over the next year and then update it. I have a little book called Dr. Miller's Quick and Dirty Guide to Clinical Neurology that I redo and update every year in January. I've never sold it. I may start. I give about 200 copies away to medical students and neurologists. But in this book, it has everything that I know, and we're going to put this online. So subscribe to my channel and watch my videos.